video we will learn how you can deploy your laravel 9 um, app on uh, google cloud run right okay so i'm sure you're not interested in looking at my face so i'm gonna remove the camera here right so first thing is i'm sh i'm 90 plus percent sure that you might have already seen this video from codejet who actually provides the step-by-step -step, uh, process how you can do that but the problem with this approach is um, it is older so basically uh, is focusing on a Laravel version which is not current and once you deploy this um, image uh, you will have this kind of uh, waiting TTFD. So basically, if your app is deployed on Google Run with the steps uh, he mentioned, then you will have quite a lot of uh, waiting time uh, in uh, on your app. So in order to remove that, I have improved his code, obviously, and that's what we are going to learn today. Okay, right. So a couple of things I wanted to um, mention before we start our uh, journey is right so the first thing what we are going to do is we are going to create a cloud-based um, gck uh, gcp um, sql instance for mysql and then we'll be uh, creating um, gcp cloud run and obviously one of our local instance um, for the app uh, will be uh, running on our local machine but it also depends upon um, this uh, gcq uh, sql instance because it is connecting directly with that uh, instance so this this approach uh, um, this approach is good if you're just one uh, developer or uh, you are the only uh, owner of the startup and you're running it by yourself and uh, you have very less time to go through um, you know change of code uh, on your uh, SQL side of uh, architecture etc uh, but obviously whenever you want to make changes you just make changes on on this uh, database structure and then it ref reflect on your local uh, instance as well as on your GCP instance and then you can push your code uh, directly from here to through um, you know your um, github and then your github will just uh, uh, push or GCP will just uh, bring that uh, code from your github uh, and then it will update the app code here and then you can utilize it now a couple of things I want to mention is one GCP does not allow volumes in your docker docker files so basically you cannot create volumes if you create volumes it will not work on your GCP so make sure when you uh, draft your docker file you don't have volumes in it okay so let's get started so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the sql in well the first thing you want to do is you go to your google cloud platform dashboard and then you go to your sql and then here on your sql uh, dashboard you click on create instance and i'm going to use the mysql one so i'm going to uh, call it laravel laravel 9 uh, mysql or you can name it whatever you want you generate the password you select the version you want i prefer my sql 8 because my app is fresh and new and then you select the region whichever region you want to select and then you can literally click on create instance once you do that your instance will be created and then you have an instance where you will get um you know uh, server ip uh, the connection name etc and the password and then after you do that you go to the connection side and then you um, allow uh, the IP address of your local machine or yeah, the IP address of your cloud GCP instance so this is how easy it is so you can create the SQL here now let's go to the next part which is how you create uh, the docker file so for example um this is the code so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a docker file where you will um, start with uh, 
PHP 8.1 FPM Alpine then exactly same as in the pre other video you can run the APK make uh, a directory for uh, nginx and then copy your docker nginx configuration to your um, docker uh, nginx configuration now this is important because that has been updated so inside the docker folder the nginx file this configuration has been updated uh, to run on gcp and to reduce the uh, time to first uh, byte delay and then once that's done you uh, copy the whole code into the app so you must be wondering why there are two lines well that's because um, you can have these docker file and docker folder with all these configuration from the github library which i'm going to share with you later and then your um, app could be installed inside the source folder uh, and that that's why it's important that you copy your source as well as the docker file in the app folder once that done, you install the composer uh, and run it, and that's pretty much it. You uh, you know assign a different user to the app, and then you run the startup.sh. Now, again, uh, you might have seen it that in the startup.sh uh, app, um, in the other video, uh, uh, it was uh, instructed that we should wait until uh, the PHP FPM daemon is active. Uh, but that will cause a lot of delay so i have commented it out in my version so you can use it um, and it will be super super fast okay now before creating your docker image i would uh, advise you to install your uh, laravel app in the source folder because if you remember if you go to our, our docker file what we are doing is we are copying our source um, image into uh, source code from src folder to app and we are also copying the docker files and configuration to that so in order to do that you just say composer create project and then laravel, slash laravel and then src don't forget to put this dot uh, backslash src or else it will throw a permission error okay once you do that your uh, project will be installed under the source directory perfect okay so so the first thing you have want to do is you build your um, docker image so docker build then you can tag it with the name you want i'm going to tag it with um docker l9 t10 and then the location and it will start building your image once the image is built uh, you are ready to run this um, image now remember one thing that we are configuring the port of the provided port uh, number and then copying it into your nginx configuration file so you cannot run this from your docker interface for example if you have um, a GUI installed and you want to go to the image and click on run it will not work because it needs that um, port id uh, so what i would suggest is you just uh, to just run it providing your environment variable port to 80 and then your mapping of port to um, 80 for the uh, com container and for your browser and then you provide the name of um, the the image and this is how you start running it so there you go your um, instance of your laravel 9 app is up and running now when you go to your browser and say go to localhost you will see um, the local image i have uh, changed the index file that's why you are looking at it and it looks like this but it should look like a normal laravel page when you load it on your local machine okay so this is it once this is done uh, you need to create your github um, repository and once you're done with creating the repository you uh, push the code to the github repository here so that's very simple you can go through this article uh, and see how you can push it so once this is pushed you go to your google cloud um, uh, dashboard and then go to cloud run there you go so 
so when you are here you cl click on create image and then instead of using the um, uh, deploy one revision from existing container you select the continuous installation and then you name the service so i will name it laravel l9 t10 you select the region then this is new you have to always select one as an auto scaling option for um, um, as minimum and maximum you can select as much as you want and then obviously you want the public uh, access to your app so click create but then you have to set up your cloud build also so what you need to do is you have to connect your github here i'm already connected so i'm gonna just uh, do it like that and then you don't have to provide any advanced option here uh, it's already taken care of and then click on next and then in the docker uh, file uh, you just select this docker and then it will uh, automatically adopt the docker file click on save button now when you are doing that when you are creating this and it's done remember click on this uh, arrow and then go to variable and secrets and add all the variables of your um, laravel app here for example your app name your app environment your app um, you know url etc etc plus your database credentials also so remember the database credentials you got from the um, sql that is what you have to copy here and provide basically the environment file is not been copied from your github to uh, your google uh, cloud run container because i think this is one of the security feature which google uh, cloud run has and that's why you have to provide all these um, environment variables here if you don't provide them and you create uh, click on create button uh, it will throw a lot of error you know it happened with me i mean i can show you how many fail uh, runs i had so you can see how many times the trigger and cloud build have failed uh, when i was trying to do that okay so remember that so once that's done and you click on your cloud run yeah then your uh, app will start uh, running uh, it, it will build up and then you can go to this link um, by clicking on this and then you will see your app uh, working uh, all, uh, very very fast so now let me show you how fast it is running okay okay so i'm gonna click on command r to refresh it and then you see the app is running pretty faster um, in terms of timing uh, the time to first byte is just 262 um, millisecond so that's pretty good and this is what we want our app to run faster okay now let's test um how this uh, continuous integration will work okay so currently on um, the app is looking like this so what i want to do is i want to go to my uh, source code and i want to go to my sources views and welcome plate and this is my welcome file so i'm using um, cloudflare tailwind 2.2.19 uh, css uh, so this is here um, so i want to do it green and uh, instead of h1 i want to h2 i want to do h1 so there you go saved right now this is saved so i will say um, welcome blade file updated and then i'll just say push and it will push all the objects to the github now if you go to the github and refresh you will see 11 seconds ago that there is a blade file updated and then when you go back to your um google cloud platform and click on the instance you will see that it's pending because it's building right now yeah and in order to see um what's the status you can go to uh, cloud build 
and you see that this has already started building 25 second has been passed and then all the task has been uh, running here and it should be done quite quickly because it has been done once before so it should have quite a lot of libraries which is required to run laravel 9 um, available uh, to it uh, in cache or somewhere so i'm hoping that it will run quite fast um, the last one took one minute 52 second so i'm guessing it should take at least around that much time and remember guys um google uh, cloud platform cloud build provide you i think 120 or 100 minutes every month for free and then later on if you using anything beyond that time then it will cost you but it is not like other cloud providers where you will see that um uh, you have to pay you have to get a, you will get a trial period and then for if you use it or not don't use it you have to just pay a monthly cost it's just a pay as you go so that's brilliant so as you can see it's built up and it's successful so now i'm gonna go back to my cloud run and i'll see my file here and click on it there you go the file is green now and this is h1 now perfect so this is how you run your um, uh, you, you you create your Laravel 9 image and push it to your Google Cloud uh, run instance, right? If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment box and I'll share the code in, um, in the comments on the first comment and I'll pin it for you. Perfect. Thank you. Bye.